Well, howdy, 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 everybody. Teresa here with Brad and the Critters. Everybody say happy birthday to Brad. How old are you today, Brad? I'm uh, four years old. I'm four years old now. I'm four years old. Yes. No. Actually, can I say? Yeah. He is 60 years old today, people. Holy crap. I know. You're getting old, honey. Oh. Lighting my eucalyptus candle because I have a headache. I have a sinus headache going on, actually. Light the uke. The uke. Um, so, yeah, it is August 12, 2020. It is um, Wednesday afternoon at 5.56 p.m. or evening, as it were to be. I got to take some time. Now. Please excuse me. Like I said, I have a sinus headache. One of those days. Not bad. Okay. Much better. Much, much better. So anyway, um, sorry I haven't made a video before this this week. Been kind of a crazy week. We got a lot of tying up some odds and ends. Um, Brad had to do some uh, paperwork and stuff because they're closing on his mom's house. And uh, well, all the siblings had to do the same paperwork um, except for his sister. Um, one of his sisters still in the hospital. Um, she's doing better. She finally got moved to a normal room. After many weeks being in the ICU, still not, um, you know, she has her good days and she has her bad days. I wouldn't say they're bad, bad days, but, um, you know, some days are better than others. Um, time will tell how much um, this has damaged her uh, brain or not. They did Saturday put in a permanent shunt and um, then... Uh, they've had to make some adjustments and stuff, um, uh, and, you know, she's hanging in there. We talked with brother-in-law last night for quite a while, right, sweetie? Mm -hmm. Can I yeah. say something that's completely off the subject? Just sure, and you need, to, you need to take the medication. I will. It's time. I will. Um, okay. One of the things that I am, I was, uh, texting back and forth with our youngest daughter, and, uh, you know, I said something like, holy crap, I can't believe I'm 60. And uh, then I said, one of the things is, is I was very grateful to her and her sister that I am not completely and totally gray. And, you know, because... But look at me. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's my fault. But, you know, some of these people I know that they've had troubles with their kids, uh, either uh, strung out on drugs or alcohol or in prison. And I feel really, really lucky that um, our daughters, neither one, they turned out to be... We got lucky, because yeah. I, I do know a good number of people, even here in the YouTube community and Facebook, that, you know, they've had trouble with their... Yeah. Uh, their children have gone down different paths and, yeah. and stuff. And, and, and sometimes you can be the greatest parent ever, and they're going to find their way, Yeah, well, you know. One thing I've always said, the greatest, the greatest um, influence that we have no control over is peer pressure. Yeah, that's yeah. what I was trying to get at. Yeah. You got so excited. And then you just... Happy birthday to you. Okay. I'm leaving. I'm going to go cook my birthday dinner. <sighs> you said you like cooking. He's doing wings and he's doing two different types. He's doing barbecue and teriyaki, right? Yeah. So, but he likes to cook, and I you, do. I'll cook, I don't know what I'm doing with the wings, but I'll cook them. He's real, honey, can you stop and take them back in body, please? I need to get these in the oven. Honey, I, it will take you two seconds to grab the bottle there. Uh, I'll, Could you? I'll get some. Okay, I, 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 I promise reminded you, you. that's yes. all I can do. I appreciate that. And I promise you guys are witness. I try to get him to stop and take some, and then in a half hour to an hour, he's going to be complaining because he's in so much pain he can't stand it. He already is. But anyway, 
I can't control what some people's children do. Yep. Anyway. <laughs> he does that all the time. But anyway, I wanted to show you. I did finish this. This is actually his birthday present. Um, and I really busted butt getting this done. Yeah. <laughs> and and it's been Mod Podge. He did the Mod Podge on it twice. Um, so, yeah. Once we get moving, moved and all of that, then, uh, um, then he will, I don't know what, that's not supposed to be on there like that. Then he will get, get this framed and everything. So, anyway, and then I am working on, I'll show you guys, I almost have this one done. It's another one of the sayings. Um, this one is, let me see. I have to read it first. It says, Those we love don't go away. They walk beside us every day. And so that's what it's looking like. I'm almost done with it. I'm working over in this area right now. Oh, yeah. And then I have four more things to do. So. Enjoying that. I've been taking a break from the loom knitting because of the shoulders and stuff. Because with packing and then doing this, and I haven't even been packing really this week. There's been a lot going on. Right, hon? Right, baby. There's been a lot going on. There's been a lot of emotional upheaval. Because, of course, with finalizing things with his mom's health, it brings up, you know, a lot of... Sadness for Brad and his siblings and sadness for those of us that have been married to them for so long. I mean, tomorrow Brad and I will celebrate our 32nd wedding anniversary. And that's just like, wow. And that brings a lot of memories, uh, you know, and stuff too. And um, so it's been an emotional week. I course being a woman demonstrated a lot more than Brad does and um, I've been having a hard time because everything is the house is packed in parts and we've got bags of stuff sitting around and boxes sitting around and you know stuff partially packed and it's just a big mess and I have a hard time with change anyway, and so it's hard. And then, you know, my daughter was having trouble getting, getting, you know, securing a place to live because it's really hard anymore out there, as everybody knows. Good news, she just let me know a little bit ago that they got an apartment and stuff. That's wonderful. We'll be next. We were thinking about taking a trip up there to look at housing and stuff. I I don't want to say definitely we're not, but I don't want to say definitely that we are. Because, see, the thing is, to do this, we would have to board the dogs. I have a hard time leaving my babies behind. I'll tell you guys that right off the bat. We've got to rent. A, a car because our Jeep is not, you know, roadworthy enough for a 10 hour trip each way. And then we would need to stay in motels. You know, I mean, I don't, I'm not sure if Brad can do a 10 hour trip. Oh, I mean, we would have to take turns, of course. But that would be how much you think that would all cost? A couple thousand dollars. A couple thousand dollars that we don't really have. Because what we're all getting is is less than we thought. We were prepared for it. I'm not going to say how much it is. But, you know, we've got to make that money really stretch. It's got to cover the move. It's got to cover a second vehicle. Because, like I said, the Jeep, she's old. How many years old is the Jeep right now, babe? 23 years old. 23 years old, right? And we bought her used. She needs some work done, as we all do as we get older, right? Um, so, 
we need to get a second vehicle and we want to get like a minivan because that would be we're looking at it would be easiest for Brad and I to get in and out of especially Brad he's having so much hip problem and back problem I probably will be doing most of the driving um, we want it to be easy to get our animals in and out of, easy to get groceries in and out of, easy to get wheelchairs or scooters or rollators, whatever medical equipment in and out of. So, um, you know, we're looking at that. We are looking, so probably not going to take a trip up there. Because, you know, we have some other stuff we want to want to get um, done, uh, paid off and stuff. Alexa, uh, set timer for 25 minutes. So that kind of stuff is, is important. And like I said, we have to make that money go as far as we can. Uh, rent there is, is a pretty good price, uh, even though there's a rent shortage right now, I mean, of rentals. Um and we won't move up there until we have something secured we're not i mean probably not i mean we'll have to do some more talking about it because one thing i did think about is we if we had to we could go up and 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 well you don't want to really go up and be looking for a rental right then right hun you, want now, sweetie? you don't really want to go up there and be looking for a rental right then Oh, it, uh, well, it depends on how packed we are and how long it'll take us to... Yeah, but what would we do with all of our stuff? I guess I'm confused. If we if we packed everything and we move, moved up there, but we don't have anything rented yet... Oh, yeah. Yeah. We don't want to do that. Yeah, so I don't know if we're going to have to ask our daughter to um, look at rentals for us. We might. Probably will. We'll figure it all out. We haven't figured it out yet, obviously. Um, hmm. You know, it's hard telling. But anyway, whether or not we take a trip up there. Um, I don't want to say definitely yes, definitely no. You know, I just hate spending that kind of money. You know, I mean, that's... A lot of money. I mean, because until Brad gets his disability through, we have to supplement what we're short every month with, with this. And so, I mean, we have to really make everything stretch. Once we get moved, though, we are going to hire a disability lawyer because that's just what everybody says is just best to do. Most of them charge just a couple, couple, a little bit up front. Most of them don't charge anything until they win your case. So, um, that's what we're going to be doing. It'll all work out. It will. We just need to talk more about whether or not we're going to take a trip up there or not. Yeah. Um, because I don't know. It's, we'll just have to talk about it. Um, You know, because, I mean, I really, I really want to see, I really want to be able to meet what would be our landlord and be able to look at the property and look at how easy it's going to be for you and I to function yeah. in that property. You know, and that's my concern is, is like, is it going to be easy for Brad to get in and out of? We don't want anything with even a few steps in and out of the front door because... If you've got dogs and, 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 and stuff, it's hard. You know, big dogs, it's hard and stuff. And we need to get a couple more no-pole leashes or put their harnesses back on them. We'll get that all figured out. Um, but, yeah, I just don't know. I don't know. What do you guys, have you guys moved? And have you guys had somebody else look? I know I've seen other... Heard of other people that have had family members look at a place for them, you know, hun? Yeah. Uh, so, I mean, that would be the most economical. 
But like I said, we want to hire a disability lawyer as soon as we get there and we'll get our insurance moved over and and all kinds of stuff like that. So um, I'm excited, though, guys. I'm so excited to get out of here. You guys have no idea how bad this place has gotten. We don't like to say too much. Part of it is I feel kind of ashamed about where we live, don't you, hon? I do. I mean, that's the first thing that Brad said is when we knew our daughter was definitely coming out this way, he didn't want her to see this place and how we're living. And I know she was shocked. But the amount of bugs, because nothing, the seams are coming apart on this trailer. None of the doors fit properly, so they're all very, very gapped. And you can't put anything in between those gaps because then they won't shut all the way. They won't lock. You know, um, the windows don't close all the way. Um, we have a mouse or something running loose in here. Black. Of course, then it's got to get stuck with me in the bathroom, right? <laughs> Every place that I've ever encountered a mouse, the ever has to be stuck in the bathroom with me. Why? And I do not like mice. I do not like mice unless they're in a cage. I don't hate mice, but I don't want I don't want uninvited guests in my home. So we've got Demacia's Earth in all the corners of every room here right now. Um, you know, because that helps kill everything. Uh, we got mouse traps that but the bait hasn't been touched, so I don't know. Maybe it got out the door. Because you know them mice, they can dis they can disjoint and, and you know, any place they can get their head through, they can get the rest of their body through. It's just amazing. You know. I think I'd rather encounter one of these sharks right now. <laughs> you know, but it's gotten bad, guys. The tile the, there's all these soft spots in the floor. The tile's all shifting and and, and broken and stuff and has been for years. It just, yeah. And the idea of not having to make the choice of whether we're going to do laundry in the bathtub or we're going to shower. Because if you're going to shower, you got to take the washing machine, the portable washing machine and spinner out. Now, don't get me wrong, that's been a great little machine and it's worked for two and a half years now. My friend Carol got it for us when we moved in here. Thank you again, Carol, so much. You know, I need to have you drop me an email or something because I haven't heard from you in a while. I'm getting worried about you and your husband. Also, Kathy, thank you. Yesterday we got the card. It was so cute. We love the tea bags and stuff. Um, and it, Brad and I both read the card and we really loved it. Thank you so much. We really appreciate that. That really helped today because we had to, um, go get some, Brad had to go get some stuff notarized and then we needed more apples, you know? We eat a lot of apples. That's what I eat at night to keep my blood sugar and stuff in check is I eat apples. And Brad eats apples. Because, you know, they're not as bad for you in, in, in sugar as some other fruits, and they're fibrous, so they fill you up. So, a lot of times I'll eat them with the sugar-free caramel. Uh, you know, the, the Smucker's makes it that you can put over ice cream and stuff, or um, with peanut butter. So, um, where I got the Fuji apples today, um, the, the Gala apples were supposed to be um, a dollar a pound. They have a three-pound bag. They were out of them. They had the last Three bags of this Fuji apple. It's a little more expensive, but they're nice. They're bigger apples. They're nice. Because the little, the other one's been tiny. Been almost like the size of crab apples. <laughs> crab apples. But, um, yeah. So, that was really nice. We're not doing anything, um, special tomorrow night. Even though it's our anniversary. We'll wait until his, his um, uh, portion of his mom's uh, money comes in, and then we're gonna go. It's not a, it's not an expensive restaurant at all. It's down in Pants, he has old posies, and they have really great uh, seafood. And we'll go on a Thursday night, which is a, like all you can eat shrimp night. So 
we'll go there and have a nice meal and stuff. I like it because they have rolls of paper towels right on the table. I like those kind of restaurants. It's just kind of a down-home, kickback, you know. You don't want to wear anything real, real fancy to a seafood restaurant where you've got butter or anything because, you know, you're going to drip some on you and ruin your blouse. And, you know, one time... We had gone to this, there was a, like, um, an Italian restaurant up by the mall up in Casper, and it wasn't there for that long, but we went there, that was one of the few times we ever had asked Brad's mom to, uh, watch the girls, and we went, Brad and I went out on a date night, and I was wearing, like, this white blouse, and I'll, so, you, know, you know, I've got to drip tomato sauce, I was having spaghetti, and then I'm trying to clean it, and so I'm dipping my napkin in ice water, right? It happens to be a dark, dark red, you know, maroon, like, color wine napkin. And it just bled. Oh, it's just, you know, I felt like just, let's just color me happy now. <laughs> so, um... So yeah, um, I'll probably start doing some more packing tomorrow. I don't know. My head right now is just kind of a, a thunder. I don't know. Tomorrow night is, or tomorrow afternoon is when they close on the house. Um, and like I said, my brother-in-law signing is in my sister-in-law's place because, um, that's her husband, and um, she's in the hospital, and she's not lucid enough to be able to do that. So, um, they're still trying to get some of the other sisters to, to do their part of the paperwork and stuff. You know, I would, you know, I better not get too excited because it could take one sister a month of Sundays to ever get, uh, get with it. I need to cut my hair again. Get too long on top. My hair is a lot lighter than you see it because I actually darken and um, and do more contrast, so so you guys can see me a little bit better. So my hair is actually a lot lighter than you actually are seeing it here. So anyway, that's all I've got really going on, guys. I mean, we don't really have that much. I'm trying not to eat the house down because. We've had a lot of stressful stuff go on, and um, I want to eat like crazy, but then I think about being in the hospital again, and I don't want to go through that again. I really don't want to go through that, being in the hospital. Oh, I thought I dropped it. Huh. But I, yeah, I don't want to go through that ever again, being in the hospital like that, so that stops me, and last time I ate... Some of that, some chocolate with sugar in it. I got so sick. Been wanting to order some chocolate, sugar-free chocolate from Amazon, but it's just like it's expensive. So, um, but I'm out of. My friend Shoshona had gotten gotten us some. It was Choc Zero or something. I know it was really good, but we're, we've been out for a while, so, um, and then whoever got us that, um, cold brew coffee, and Brad's been making it, oh, it's so good, thank you, I just really enjoy that, I don't know, I'd like to know who's sending us stuff that we don't know about, but, um, um, that's about it, guys, I just, like I said, any of you guys want to come over and help pack, feel free to. Oh, I want to tell you though about our anniversary tomorrow. T tomorrow, we are getting those eventually later on. Now, I don't know if I'm getting it from Amazon or maybe Hobby Lobby. They make that where you can do the molds. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Show you, show you, show you, show you. <coughs> There we go. This is it. Look at that. Isn't that cool? That's 
two people holding hands. Let's see. I'll show you. It's Luna Bean Keepsake Hands Plaster Statue Kit. And let me show you. See, you could even do, some people do this. But this is what you do. You see that? Yeah. So you you mix up this stuff and then you put your hands in it and then you wait and then you pour the plaster and then you peel that off. And this is a large couple size. And I'm just so excited about this. And I guess you can get all kinds of different kinds. I know some people have done, you know, pets and that kind of stuff. I mean, um, I don't know. You can get pretty, um, you get pretty emotional about this kind of stuff. See, and there's this kind. If you wanted to do one of your kids and stuff, guys, look. Yeah. Isn't that neat? I would have loved to have had one of the kids when they were smaller and stuff, and even the grandkids, but now they're so, they're so old now. Airing resin mold. I've been looking at resin stuff. Brad and I want to start doing some resin stuff. Um, okay, see, and this one is kind of cool too, guys. If you guys are thinking about Christmas or anything, look at that. Yeah, the hand and the feet. And I know that some veterinary offices and stuff will do that even when you lose a pet. And they'll do the the mold now. Let's see, course, yeah, like this one, look. That's little paw prints. I wish I had paw prints of my messy. And a lot of my other dogs. Don't make me cry. Not crying. Not crying. I would love to have had that. You know, I thought about bringing a little bit of paint to the vet's office when she passed away and get an imprint of her paw, but I thought, no, I shouldn't. You know, you never forget the feeling of putting an animal down. Anyway, I've been very emotional lately. I don't know what the thing is. You know, I've been really emotional lately. I think because um, you look back as you're getting older and all of the people that have passed away and stuff. And you just, look at this one. This one's pretty cool. Look. It's a little paw print and then the dog's photo. I think I might maybe later on get something like that and go ahead and do their paw print and angel. It's been real hard to lately because he's getting worse. He can hardly walk at all. It's so hard to watch. He's in so much pain. And I feel like I'm losing him. Get off, Teresa. To be grateful for each day. I just know there's going to be a doctor that can help him. And he believes that, too. You know, so. Aren't I fun today? I told you I've been emotional. for the reason I haven't made a video in a few days. It's just been very emotional. 
Yeah. What, Charlie Ann? And, um, yeah, I've been, I've been a little boohoo baby lately. <laughs> anyway, that's all I was going to show you guys. I was going to look on, let me look real quick. You guys aren't in a big hurry, are you? Let's do Hobby Lobby. Let's do plaster kits, right? Okay, yeah. Let's see if they have them there, because then we all could use our 40% off coupon. Save a lot of money. I like to use those coupons on stuff like that. Plaster kits. Let's see what they have. Oh, they have the baby plaster casting kit. For all you guys want to know that, they have that. Oh, I have. What? Hmm. Wow. That's all they have. That's kind of a bummer, ain't it? I wonder if they heat sake. Okay, okay. Let's bring it up a little bit more. Keep. Sick plaster. Nope. Okay, because I got the little hands. That's cute. See, so look. That's cute. And you know what I want to make? Really make two once I get moved. I love fall time. You guys know that's one of my favorite time. Is a is um, a wreath for my door. I love making wreaths, floral wreaths and stuff. It's just you know it can be expensive. So look at that, isn't it cute? Look at that. Oh, all the autumn stuff. I'm not letting myself even go into Dollar Tree right now because I know I want to buy some of that stuff. Look at that. Isn't that cute? That sign? And it says Autumn Acres, Pumpkin Patch, Apple Cider, Hay Rides, and Hot Cocoa. I want to see a pumpkin patch so bad. Brad and I have never seen one. Stepping Stones. I wonder if I just if I just type in plaster. Okay, let's see what that does. Let's see. Perfect plaster. Perfect pottery plaster. That won't do it. See our results. Let's see. Mm, plaster molds. Hmm. Okay, the baby plaster. Then it's got the little plaster figurines you can paint. Those are always fun. No, they don't. That sucks. So, I guess you're going to have to pony it up and and... Maybe they have it cheaper than Amazon someplace else, right? Let's see. That's so cute, though. I know, I just would love to have that, you know? And that's something that, too, even when you pass on, your kids would enjoy, I would think. I need to get some new bras, too, because mine are just... But don't always think that Amazon's always the cheapest on everything. Because I've been comparing Amazon prices with like Walmart. I'll have both apps open. And a lot of times Walmart's cheaper on the same stuff. So don't always just think that it's just, you know. I wanted to show you guys these resin molds too. Look at those. Look at those. Yeah. Basically those top Alexa, ones. How much time is left on the timer? That would be very cool. Oh, I didn't even know those ones down there in the bottom. See? Those cylinder ones? That's cool. I'm talking to them, not you. I'm not talking to you now, mister. Mister, I'm not talking to you. Okay. Are you sad now? I'm very sad now. Oh, good. Okay. Anyway. Okay, be a sad panda. I'm a naked sad panda. 
Okay, we don't want to know about your nakedness. I forgot he was in the shower. No wonder it was so quiet. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to get off here. Now he's naked. I need to go look. <laughs> are you still naked? I'm still naked. You are naked. Our meat, I need don't look, guys. Don't look. I need to flip our meat. You know, I wouldn't get in front of the oven like that. <laughs> you see, well, he's in his birthday suit. It is his birthday, so. <laughs> anyway, thank you guys for going down the road of, of, of craft with me. You guys are like, oh my God. Hobby Lobby doesn't have those plaster kits like that. Oh, no, they don't. No. So anyway, I do love you guys, and I do cherish your friendship so very much. Joanne's might have it. I don't know. And you could check Michael's, too. You know, and then wait for their coupon. So, oh. you can get it cheaper, do it. Alexa, shut Anyway, up I love you guys, and I do cherish your friendship so very much. And I think you guys are awesome. And I will talk to you guys probably in a couple days. And, um... I hope you're doing okay. So, do you got anything to say, Brad Hyde, besides? I just about branded myself. Let's <laughs> see. Brad, say bye. Bye, Brad. Bye, Brad. <laughs> Love you. <laughs>